So if you're worrying about how to improve your score in PT reading and don't know how to get 79 plus, you have come to the right place. Hello everyone, I'm Surbhi Arora. I'm your PT certified trainer. In this video, I'm going to give you few strategies that you can follow to improve your reading score. Now, first of all, you should develop a reading habit because it will help you in getting the knowledge of grammar. It will improve your vocabulary and you will also understand the knowledge and the rules of collocations. In reading part, you should know that it is time bounded. So first of all, you have to learn how you can manage the time. So how can you do this? Before doing any question in reading, make sure that you understand your question very well. Read the question twice. Understand what is the keyword in your question. Try to give a speed reading to the text and connect the keyword with the passage. Try to get the gist of the main idea and understand the overall language, overall idea of the text. So overall, there would be five tasks in reading. Let's get them into one by one. First of all, it is multiple choice and single answer. In this one, you will have a text for which you will be given few options and you need to choose the correct one. So before going to the passage, always skim the options first so that you can understand what is the keyword. Now pick out that keyword and try to find that information in the passage because it will really save you time. And understand the meaning, what the meaning is in the option and what the meaning is in the passage. If it is the same, that means that would be your answer. Remember the answer and the information will not be in sequence. It can be anywhere in the passage. So always skim your passage and read for the meaning. The answer would be in context, not in the keyword. So once you have got the main message of the text, use the elimination strategy and go with that option in which the keyword is saying the same thing that is what in the passage. Since there is no negative marking in this question, you should always do this and do not leave it blank. So the next comes that is multiple choice and multiple answer. Remember, there is a negative marking in this one. So you need to be very careful. The same thing what you have done for multiple choice and single answer, that is what you need to do for this one. Always skim your options first. Try to get the keyword and match it with the information that is in the passage. Again, adopt the elimination strategy. But in this case, you need to be 100% sure. If you think that you are not sure, you can remain, you can leave that option. If it is only one option for which you are 100% sure, you can mark that. And if there is no any option for which you are not 100% sure, it is better to leave this question. So the next is reorder the paragraphs. In this one, there would be some sentences that you need to arrange in a sequence so that it would give a meaningful information. So first of all, your job is to identify the independent sentence. So how are you going to do this? Always understand that an independent sentence would have a proper noun. It will not depend on anyone. Now, the sentences that starts from any pronoun like he, she, him, they, we cannot be an independent sentence, cannot be the first one. Any sentences that starts from any controversy, any conjunction, any transition words, again cannot be an independent sentence. Another important thing that you have to understand for reorder the paragraphs is your scoring pattern. In this one, you are going to score on the basis of the correct pair. Now, after recognizing your independent sentence, try to find the correct pair that goes with the information. What has been just mentioned in the previous sentence and what is it just talking about ahead in the next sentence that would become a pair. So the last part under your reading module is fill in the blanks. In this one, before giving your answer, you should skim your text first to understand what is the main idea. There would be two types of fill in the blanks. Now, here you must have the knowledge of grammar as well as collocations. Use the rules of parts of speech because mainly it would be the nouns, adjectives, adverbs, verbs that you need to fill out in those blanks. Always make sure, always understand what is the word that is coming before the blank and what is the word that is coming after the blank. Let's say if it is an article, that means certainly it would be a noun. If it is some adjective, again it would be a noun. If it is to or any modal verb, again it would be followed by a verb. That means overall you have to understand the rules of grammar, the rules of parts of speech. After doing your questions, read the whole text to understand that is it making the sense? Is it meaningful? Then only you can understand either you have chosen the right one or not. 
So this was all about your reading module. I believe that these tricks would certainly help you. But apart from this, you should also have the knowledge that how you're going to be scored in this module. First of all, you should learn how to manage your time and understand for which particular question, what are the parameters, what are the specs and how you're going to be scored. So keep practicing, keep learning. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and share.